Hey guys, um, I'm just going to tell you today how to fix a battery for any type of vacuum that uses the same style of battery as this one or something with similar inside. So basically this one is for the Hoover One Power. Um, I put it on the charger one day and it was just red warning light, uh, which means it's not even going to try to charge it. There's some significant issue. Um, you can charge it... Um, well, anyways, I'll show you how to fix it with just stuff that you've got already laying around at home. Um, I mean, there might be a few tools you don't have, so the weirdest thing is it's got this T40 style of uh, thing to take off those. So anyways, a T40, maybe your neighbor's got it if you don't have it. Uh, but first you just open her up like this. Four sides. Doo, 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 doo. And right here. Okay. Once that's done, you just kind of wiggle it apart, figure out what it is. Okay, look, you just pop the top off. And what's inside is a bunch of 18650 batteries. Uh, and then the controller thing. So you can set this plastic and the screws aside. And then what you want to do is see one, two, three, four, five. There's five in here. Um, one of these is worse than the others. That's the issue that a lot of battery packs have is if they're out of balance, then the system will not be happy. So let's take a look and we can measure a few of them and see that's a 3.6. Sorry, I got to get a good connection. Uh, 3.6, 3.6. And this one's down at a 3.2. So out of this battery pack, it's this one that's indicating it's a 3.2. So how do you fix it? Simple. Uh, all you gotta do is like manually charge that one that's out of balance. Um, and you can use another battery that's a match for it or even another one that's part of the system that's all put together there. You just make sure you line up the positive with the positive, negative with the negative. A lot of batteries uh, that are the same are used in flashlights, laser pointers, or you can, you know, like I said, just use other ones on the same system. So we'll double check if we've got this black over here. Actually, the positive's over there. So we got this here. That's a positive 3.2. And this one up top is... This one? There you go. That's a four. Um, so... Take whatever wire you have and then do a charge on it. So you take a positive, positive, negative, negative. This is just like a TV cord, uh, but then you can balance out the battery by trying to get it up to that 3.6 like all the other ones so the battery management system is happy. So you line up the ends on the low voltage battery, then line up the top ones. And you can use tape to do this, but I'll just show you with my hands. And then connect them that way. And then if you hold it here for, I want to say, 5-10 minutes, you should have a decent rise in voltage. So we'll just sit here. This is probably going to need a time lapse, but... I saw something really interesting. If you've got uh, little cords with alligator clips, put a magnet on the end of the battery so it has something to grab onto and then you can just use alligator clips a lot easier so too lazy to tape these but we're just going and going and going and uh we'll see what happens okay so i uh, was holding these cords on it for a while and now we're gonna see uh how much charge this loss a little bit you know 3.9 something and then the one that was giving us trouble is now 3.4 whatever. So next step, really simple. You take the pack, put it back together. And that's wrong, it goes this way. Just, you know, reverse what you did. Could be the exact same one that I have. It might be a little bit different. Um, line the stuff up and it just clips right in. Before we screw it together, we'll give it a test. If this light doesn't turn red, if it's blinking white, then that means it's charging and it's happy. And there we go. 
problem solved. Um, like and subscribe. Hope this was helpful. Uh, this works for laptops, vacuums, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, just really simple, free. It's not 60 bucks on Amazon to buy another one of these. Don't do that. You know, hurt the environment, throw these out. Just fix the one that you got. Takes 20 minutes. Uh, put those T40 screws back in and you're finished. Okay. Take care. Bye.